LA County. Um, so up next, we're going to have Hanessa um, at the this on the train here, right here. <laughs> so uh, my name is Hanessa and I am a graduating student at Rutgers University right. studying philosophy, political science, and economics. So in January 2015, Rutgers received a 1.95 million grant in, uh, for the establishment of the CCIS or the Center for Critical Intelligence Studies funded by the DIA making Rutgers the only Big Ten school to be federally recognized as an intelligence community center for academic excellence. The center is headed by a former acting U.S. intelligence undersecretary to U.S. DIA, DHS, um, John Cohen. So um, the objective of the center is to, quote, provide undergraduate and graduate students with academic experiences that will prepare them for careers in national security and law enforcement. Um, so this is the direct recruitment of Rutgers students um, into the propagation of the U.S. war machine um, by the U.S. intelligence agencies. Um, actually, a former, actually current um, FBI special agent um, was present in my internship class this past Wednesday um, and they basically are using students as proxy recruiters for the FBI, CIA, and NSA by advertising that these are the exclusive paid internships in the intelligence community, which appeals to low-income students in the same way that the military recruitment is catered to low-income students as well. Uh, further, there are um, critical intelligence studies classes taught by John Farmer, who is former senior counsel to the National Commission on Terrorist Attacks upon the U.S., a.k.a. the 9-11 Commission. Um, I looked at the syllabus briefly for the Intro to Critical Intelligence Studies with uh, John Farmer, and one of the objectives of this class is to identify the role intelligence gathering has played through history to, and also identify historical lessons learned and apply them to the challenges of the intelligence com community that are faced in the post 9-11 era. Um, a further review of the critical intelligence studies minor um, shows that the target focus of these studies is on South Asia, East Asia, the study of the Arabic language, Latin America, Middle East, and Russia also further criminalizing Islam by promoting the studies of Arabic along with two classes that fulfill the requirement called Islamic law and jurisprudence and Islam and democracy in the Arab world. So it is clear that Rutgers is using its 1.5, 1.95 million grant in order to um, promote that students um, are funneled into the intelligence community uh, by incentivizing them with paid internships through the Critical Intelligence Studies program. So right now we're in the process of organizing a panel on the militarization of campus, um, whose date is to be announced. So if you'd like to follow up with us, um, we do have a Facebook group called CIA Off Campus. Um, to oppose campus militarism. Thank you. Yeah. Woo Woo Thank you so much, Hanessa. Pardon me? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead.